guys, I'm Kelsey and you're watching DJP TV, the new weekly web show that brings you all the news, reviews and previews of the games that you actually care about. This week we're taking a look at Ridge Racer Unbound, we talked to Ubisoft Shanghai about the new I Am Alive game, but first up we're taking a look at the new Soul Calibur 5 game which features Ezio. So let's go have a look at that. Chosen by history, a man becomes a warrior, engraved into history. A warrior becomes a hero. This week, we got to check out the upcoming Soul Calibur V, but more specifically, how Master Assassin Ezio Aldatore, star of the Assassin's Creed games, fits into the fighting titles roster. Featuring an Ezio, circa Assassin's Creed Brotherhood rather than the recently released Revelations, the Assassin feels right at home amongst Soul Calibur's zany cast of weapon-wielding fighters. You can make full use of Ezio's trademark tools of death, including his hidden blades, crossbow and gun, in the attempt to take down familiar faces from the Soul Calibur universe. The world will be better without you. The actual game isn't looking too bad either, with some other newcomers in amongst the roster of returning characters. If you've played any of the previous Soul Calibur titles, you'll feel right at home, and Ezio proves to be a nice bonus if you're an Assassin's Creed fan. Whether he'll be favourite for the many hardcore players out there remains to be seen, but he's certainly enjoyable to use. Soul Calibur V will hit PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360 on February 3rd, 2012. Just enough time to get practicing then. Soul Calibur V. So that was Soul Calibur 5, a brilliant looking fighting game. If you don't remember, Soul Calibur 4 saw Yoda and Darth Vader, so Ezio definitely looks like a great addition to the game. This game comes out on February 3rd and if I was you, I'd definitely get it pre-ordered. So next up we take a look at the new downloadable title from Ubisoft, which is I Am Alive. Let's go check that out. Hi guys, it's Aurelian and Stan from Ubisoft Shanghai. Uh, we are here today to talk about I Am Alive. The player starts the game as, a, as the main character arrives to his home city, Haventon, uh, one year after the event has devastated the Earth as we know it. So it's been a year, so things are pretty destroyed, a lot of things have changed, and uh, what he will find is a very uh, damaged city with uh, very desolated landscapes and very few survivors. He's going to have a chance to find clues. He's not going to find his wife and daughter, but he's going to find clues about what happened and what's the possible path they could have taken and he's going to find lots of danger on the way. We have designed a stamina system to connect you deeply with the main character and make you feel his limitation when climbing and exploring the destroyed city. Uh, you really have to consider each time you start climbing and doing some efforts that your stamina is going down. So in a way, it's, uh, it's more immersive. <laughs> have to take care of your resources as well because they can help you refill this stamina. Uh, this is somehow a traditional survival mechanic, the element of taking resources and using them. Exploration is also a very important part to find these precious items. Something key we wanted uh, when the player play the game, we wanted that he doesn't know basically who is what's going to happen when he meets someone 
always uh, being half scared, half attracted, always mistrust. Yeah, always, uh, always careful because some people are more scared even than him and will just threaten him to protect their, uh, their family. But some others really uh, will come to him looking for trouble and want to probably take his life and his items. And for now, I am alive. So that was just a small part of the uh, interview that we have for I Am Alive. You can catch the full thing on dailyjoypad.co.uk where I'm sure you can find lots of other information about all the games that we've spoken about today. Finally, Namco were nice enough to invite us down to their studio to have a look at Ridge Race for Unbounded where we put the multiplayer to its test and also checked out the track editor. So let's go see what it looks like. Ridge Racer is back with a new entry in the popular racing series under the subtitle Unbounded. We got a chance to check out this all new take on Ridge Racer at a special hands on preview event in London last week. The main highlight of the single player side is certainly looking to be the domination mode, a simple race against AI computer controlled opposition. Using power, accumulated through drifting, getting airborne or other stunts, you can smash your way through buildings, obstacles and more for a quick boost or time-saving shortcut. Other single player modes we tested out included Drift Attack and Frag Attack, each offering a different experience. Drift Attack, as the name might suggest, has you drifting as much as possible to keep the timer from hitting zero, and similarly, Frag Attack has you driving a big rig truck and smashing up police cars in order to add more time and get a higher score. Whilst neither mode are truly groundbreaking, they are fun little distractions from the slowly oversaturating arcade racing genre. If you're not a fan of the tracks built into the game from the off, you can also use the clever track editor mode to create and share your own courses. Although we only got to try out the basic editor, Simply placing pre-built blocks together, much like you would a Scalextric track, the final game will also include an advanced editor, which allows for deeper level of editing for those who want to invest the time to create something truly unique. A full hands-on preview can be read now at dailyjoypad.co.uk and keep an eye out in January when we will be bringing you an in-depth look at Ridge Racer Unbounded's multiplayer side. For now, all you need to know is that this is shaping up to be a promising looking new direction for the Ridge Racer series. Unbounded, and this has been the first ever episode of DJP TV. Come up for your next week's show, we take another look at Ridge Racer Unbounded, but this time with an interview, and we also take a look at all the video games you should be playing with your family this Christmas. Thank you for watching, let us know any comments you have on the show, and don't forget to check out dailyjoypad.co.uk for even more information about gaming goodness. Thank you for watching, bye!